Sometimes in life, you just have to extract bitterness from people bit by bit by bit until it ceases to exist. On my second meditation session, thinking about bullshit, thinking about old shit has really revved up my anxiety. It really revved up my anxiety today. Um, and I meditated and I made a couple videos and I talked about some stuff and then I, my anxiety like revved up again and I just meditated again. But today, um, I have my first Zoom session I signed up to learn how to sell life insurance and a bunch of other, potentially a bunch of other financial services. I have to take a test, but I, I like signed up for a course through one of my old, my first job, one of my old coworkers. That's what he does on the side. Um, and he suggested, you know, it's a good way to make money, something I could learn. I thought it was, you know, anything, any financial, any financial knowledge, um, whether it's, you know, learning yourself how to invest in different ways. These are more stable, safer ways to invest than I normally invest. Um, and just, and even learning how to sell these services to people. Great knowledge uh, for somebody who works remotely. So I said, absolutely. And today is my first zoom session uh, but i, I want to go through i went through like the first chapter i want to go through some more chapters i've been like staggering uploading content gaming making a video um, and going through those chapters calming my anxiety talking back about my you know thought about because Frustrations I'm gonna to have to deal with. That I've already have already dealt with um, my level of confidence. Talking about the porn industry. Um, another reason why I think it's a good idea. I have some really good ideas in the content creation slash porn sector. Um, I have some very creative ideas.
Reese's peanut thing I ate for lunch the most in my entire life growing up. Peanut butter sandwiches. I will say, the one thing I really like about the people who I used to know, one thing I really like about how most of them probably describe me, is that when I prove them wrong, they are basically forced to describe me as another thing. And I'll take that compliment fucking all day, baby. I was studying my, I always study my analytics for both my YouTube channels. I was studying my analytics for my gaming channel. I've been working hard on my gaming channel for over, it's got to be close to two years now, around two years. It's getting pretty big in Japan. Getting pretty big in Japan. It's a little pop-up in Great Britain. Uh, Prime members. India. Your entertaining needs a little bit there Foods too, Market. but Japan. Get coconut wow. shrimp. I don't know why I was thinking about this while I was playing Mario Kart, but I don't want to lose this thought. If, if a major limiting factor, global sustainability is divided countries, divided competing countries, because instead of focusing on sustainability from an industrial standpoint, they're focusing on protection and just, you know, always... The potential of war or like an, and promoting the possibility of an arms race i guess there's like always that um and whatever it's probably more digital nowadays but competing nations from an industrial standpoint don't think about sustainability at all because they're always competing and always at fear of war so that means that the solution to sustainability is world peace and maybe the solution to both of those is raising enough money and networking and traveling and tying, tying countries and nations together enough and then leveraging a sustainability peace treaty so that there's no divided nations and then all nations from an industrial standpoint can forget about an arms race for at least a extended period of time and just focus on sustainability from an industrial capitalistic whatever economic you know system that they have they can focus on sustainability where they're focusing on protecting themselves and competition we might have potential if my content is giving people headaches, just imagine how I felt having to deal with that weak fucking immoral bullshit fucking company for as long as I have. If you have a headache, I'm surprised my head hasn't exploded by now. But if you haven't had a headache by now, I suggest because of my content, you should probably rev up on the Tylenol. Just fucking take out a little bit of extra cash. Just get some extra Tylenol for yourself.